are we playing mind games? That is the question being asked of Tomoe Umari, a military tomboy horse girl who is currently in your walls. This all-American VTuber is set for a debut later this month and whose talent behind the VTuber is actively enlisted in the US military. Tweeting out, Dear people who keep asking me to do an ASMR gun cleaning stream, I live in the barracks on base, a military base. I will repeat this as many times as needed. Yes, it's true. Firearms and weaponry are not allowed in the barracks and instead on military bases are to be locked up in the armory. That tweet receiving plenty of fun responses, but also responses like this. Asking, is this a psyop by the US military? And also, I don't see how this VTuber isn't a psyop method to recruit people during the shortage. Psyop being short for psychological operation. A methodology employed by the United States government to reinforce behavior perceived to be favorable to U.S. objectives. That's right. Some people are seriously wondering if this military tomboy horse girl is a United States government state-sanctioned VTuber. Tomoe responding, to be honest, I just want to keep morale up for both my fellow military people as well as civilians. I'm not going to pressure anyone to enlist because it's genuinely not for everyone. So long as everyone's happy and living their best lives, that's all I could ask for. Later tweeting out, I am unironically not a psyop. Military service isn't for everyone. I just want to make people happy. Please calm down, relax. And further, canceling today's stream. The psyop harassment is a little disheartening and hurtful. I'm not sure what I did wrong or how I can do better. I'll try to be stronger. Sorry if I let anyone down. I'm really, really sorry. All of this has led to new followers for this military horse girl VTuber. Going on to say, thank you all so much much again for the support and encouragement you've been giving me leading up to my 2.0 debut. I've genuinely never in my life felt so appreciated and cared for. I promise I'll do my best to make it a truly special and memorable event. Love you all troops. Also, thank you everyone for your kind words. With how harsh some of the accusations were, it was a heartwarming thing to wake up to. I'll be just fine. I apologize for worrying you all. I'm certain now that there's no battle I can't overcome with such supportive troops on my side. Further stating, for the record, and the final thing I'll say on the matter. I'm not particularly sensitive to jokes. It's kind of hard to be after being in the military for a while. But the PSYOP thing in particular implies manipulative behavior. It can be disheartening when made in excess. So yes, we have this VTuber denying being a state sanctioned endorsed asset. Although there are questionable VTubers out there, including this heinous individual, Fed. And man, oh man, does he glow. Next up, we have V Shoujo's Demon Queen, Iron Mouse. Now announcing she'll have a Hollow Hunger cover dropping this Friday at midnight Eastern Time, and also now being featured in a Puerto Rican newspaper. That's right, it's a full expose on Mouse, who is now fully a demon on the loose. Here saying, time to start trouble, the real fight begins now. This while Mouse has been taking part in the Sea Dog VA Canvas, a community pixel canvas. As late last night, Mouse would launch this massive campaign to have all of the active V Shoujo girls represented on the board. Unfortunately, the spot chosen by Mouse already had loads of VTuber representation, including Camila, the recently re-debuted Imp VTuber, Oni Captain Hana, currently grieving the loss of a near and dear pet, stating here, thank you everyone for reaching out and saying such nice things. I really wish I could sit through and read respond, but my heart can't really take it at the moment. Please know I appreciate everyone taking the time. Kind of feels like a group hug. Thank you. Also in that section was AI VTuber Neurosama, recently seen in makeshift plushy form, and the artist Fox VTuber Annie, still running along with her subathon, and giving a call to arms here saying, I need everyone, come help us protect our dinner family table. Join if you care about the healthy family values. This section also happened to be the area where the TVS crew was placing a pixel portrait of our co-host Lady, but most important of them all, there was a portrait of me! Me, me, me. So yes, now finally, officially, friendship with V Shoujo is over. Iron Mouse responding, you can always relocate your piece. If you do, I will offer protection. We now formally deny this offer and will not accept this... <laughs> 
blatant censorship by this corpo VTuber. And if you'd like to do it for them, feel free to join our Discord with the link below. We're having a lot of fun with this. All right, and next today, we are moving on to Niji Sanji English. Firstly, to their talent, Vox Akama, who was a part of this announcement from this morning, sent out in both French and English, reading notice. We would like to send our deepest apologies to fans regarding Ike Eveland not participating and Vox Akama joining the panel late at Japan Expo 2023 today. Thank you for your support and your kind understanding. Vox responding further, thanks to all who attended Nijisaji Ian's panel at Japan Expo. I want to sincerely apologize for being late. I struggle with disorganization and had the wrong date. I'm very sorry for anyone who attended hoping to see me. I'll be much more careful with all future appearances. And yes, you heard right. That also involved Nijisaji English's Ike Evelyn saying hello everyone. As some of you may have noticed, I was absent from my planned appearance today at Japan Expo. The reason for this is entirely due to my own carelessness as I had made a mistake in regards to the scheduled times for the event. I'm truly sorry to anybody that I let down due to said mistake. Ike Evelyn known to be very punctual and at times very hard on himself even if he misses a normal stream. But he does have good news here saying well I guess the cat's out of the bag on this one. I can't say too much about it just yet but your boy will be getting his very own figure. Keep your eyes out in the future for further details. And yes it's safe to say all of us are very interested in what we can do with this figure. While further with Niji Sanji, we have the soon-to-be graduated talent Amasia Michella today performing her last membership stream and announcing further plans. As here we have her final projects. This talent saying, hello everyone, this will be my final gifts for you. I've been working on it since the past six months, I think. This will be premiered on my graduation day, relay covers for the title, just wait until the waiting room is up. That's right, we have a last solo cover, a last duet cover, and a last group cover coming from this talent. As now fully graduated from Nijisanji English is Nina Kosaka. Having received beautiful artwork like this one from Quack, giving Nina a thank you, along with this wholly accurate rendition from Lilin, entitled Best Mom with Her Wine. Perneko also had this for us, saying Nina asked me to release her member emotes, while fellow Ethereum member Millie Parfait on record here saying with Nina gone, that means I'm the sexiest woman in Etheria. I don't know how to bear responsibility with that title. Also sharing this notification from YouTube. Sorry to see you go. Your membership to Nina Kosaka has been canceled. We also have Nina Kosaka fan artist Lucky Bunny here with my first and last public rage rant slash call out letter, whatever you want to call it, to those who spread all kinds of lies and hate against Nina. Stating Nina was hatefully harassed, not just by her dedicated aunties, but also suffered the same mistreatment from several fans of her friends. A lot of them switched sides after seeing their faves. Sad to see her go though, which is honestly really laughable and a little shameless of them. I felt really conflicted when I saw fandoms of other Niji EN livers who spread a considerable amount of hate against her, acting like they were sad from her graduation. I'd like to think that most of them were sincere in expressing their grief, and I still think she should have been treated better. This document has loads of points, aimed very much at the Niji Sanji fandom in hopes of fostering a better environment for fans, as here we have number one, don't speak ill of livers who streams you don't even watch. Number two, don't trust the words of people who ignore number one. Number three, don't act like you know them. Number four, don't insert yourself into their friendships. Number five, don't generalize or draw conclusions about a liver from one bad moment. People are multi-dimensional. Number six, educate, not condemn. Number seven, assuming the kind of relationship between two or more people based only on what you can watch and what they've shown you is shallow. Number eight, they don't owe you explanations. They have a right to their privacy. Number nine, acting like a bully while accusing somebody of being one just makes you look like an idiot. Number 10, y'all never stopped once and thought, what would my Oshi think if I, their loyal fan, harassed their co-worker? Number 11, stop camping on image boards and TikTok by entertaining what's said in them. Along with number 12, all of these should have been common sense. And lastly, we have number 13, before being so confident in calling out bullies and toxic people, maybe check yourself first and check whatever it is you choose to believe to make sure you aren't one. Bringing us next to Niji Sanji English's Pomu Rainpuff, one of the world's biggest Nina Kosaka fans. Captured here in this loving moment from Shiba Draws, while well, we also had Maple Science giving us this rendition of Pomu, performing a karaoke for Nina after her graduation. As also after the graduation, Pomo would notice this like from Nina saying, stop, you're supposed to be gone. Pomo further responding to one of her super fans saying, this isn't about you. But what was about Pomu was her birthday. 
Niji Ian saying, wishing a very big Pomo energy to our lovely forest fairy. As also wishing her a happy birthday was Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara. Pomo not only finally playing the video that Kiara had given to Pomo for last year's birthday, but now Kiara sharing this poem to Pomo, saying, I actually enjoyed writing this. I want to do more. Happy third burb day. While equally important, Kiara would tweet out, my thighs are sweating all over the public transport seats. I can't help it. They're oily too from my massage, so it's even worse. Mori Calliope responding, WTF did I just read? And upon numerous comments, Kiara would say further, horny bonking all of you. This incident producing plenty of fan artwork, like this stop sweating, stop sweating kelp piece, while Timony Billy Bob gave us this chickens on public transport. Eventually that tweet would have tens of thousands of likes, leading to Kiara to say, OMG, a hit tweet. And also responding here with beautiful, that being to this Pomo Rainpuff artwork provided by Pomo's very own character illustrator saying happy birthday Pomo. This particular artwork yesterday would come under some scrutiny by artists who had wondered if this piece was potentially AI assisted, especially citing the way this piece is lit along with how the body and skin are formed and in addition the wisps of hair. That all said, we do have this piece seen as a work in progress all the way from August of last year. Pomo at the time responding with this mama. And that's not all as we have loads of other fan works. Akamono delivering up this shadow of a princess. Pomo scene ballin' here. Seagator adding Uki getting dunked because why not? And Avature sharing further these Metal Gear Solid inspired pieces. The artist saying happy birthday to the biggest snake simp I know. Very importantly, we also had this. Unicat here with it's a little last second, but I made this for Pomo's birthday. This being a transparent overlay anyone can put in their profile picture for this important PP day. But when Pomo used it, she got this. Sharing, wait, I messed up for some reason. I thought it would overlay on top of my current profile pic. I didn't mean to save. That is just before the birthday, Pomo would tease us with this. A silhouette filled with loads of Nijisanji English VTubers. Pomo sharing here, I get nervous about teasing like this because it always makes everyone have such big expectations. Those expectations for Flourishing into a giant cover song by the majority of Niji Sanji English. This fairy liver sharing that she wanted to do this because Niji Sanji English has been going through a rough patch and wanted something to bring them all together. And nearly all of the livers did join in, except for a very few who were either busy or sick. Mr. Rios at the time being busy and also now sharing. Just gonna leave an update here. I really badly injured my legs the past two days. Been recovering, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway, stream tomorrow. Sorry, none today. Also sick at the time was Scarla Yonaguni. Recently caught on stream, potentially sleeping, all while she was also raided by Sunny Briscoe. This particular liver being one of the most active streamers and soon celebrating one year with Niji Sanji. While soon celebrating two years with Niji Sanji is the Obsidia Group. Niji Sanji announcing earlier merch for that event alongside this road trip goods and voice announcement. That's right, we have more from the boys and girls, including merch such as this, and of course lucrative for the talents voice packs too. Niji Sanji English's Noctix group also being a part of these goods, set to launch at Billy Billy World 2023. Niji Sanji English even going so far as to show off the early concept designs of their booth, featuring life-size cardboard cutouts of Noctix and even more decorations. Alright, and very quickly we turn to Mem, the Sakya Bussy, a shy, silly collector of fantasies, and sounding off for so many of us. Addressing this to VTube Studio, the premier software used by 2D VTubers, saying, VTS, I beg you, make an option to turn this off. VTube Studio then taking that moment to reply, letting us all know you can already do that, and even showing off the toggle for that piece. Mem responding, fair enough, I deserve that. While we also have former VTuber Bree, and still currently a VTuber modeler, simply replying with a what? And further updating us about her titled name and Twitter, sharing, so I dropped my stream deck and hit the button that makes my Twitter name go live. And now I can't change it for two weeks because of Twitter blue. I'm not live. I'm still graduated. Sorry. And who is never sorry is Idol EN's Ren Penrose, the royal prince stating, you kids make fun of me for being in my 30s, not realizing you'll be there soon enough. Ren being chided by her co-high and also showing off these results 
from a recent drawing stream. Saying, Drew, some VTubers from memory with my huge intellect. Bringing us over to V Rubbery's Cherry Lupina. Self-described as their cutest treasure hunting fox. And effortlessly whipping out this live 2D model from Ren's art. Giving us this animated Lopi. This V Rubbery town also saying, the fact it doesn't even look half bad is insane. And Ren also impressed. Asking, how the F did you? It's been like 12 hours. And now for even more VTuber agency goodness, we have our co-host Heidi take it away. Hi everyone! Starting off, we check in with My Hollow TV, as their talent Woozy One Eye had just recently announced her graduation for July 31st. My Hollow TV following up her announcement stream with this official statement, expressing that Woozy's decision was due to real life commitments, and also letting us know that the period for sending in fan mail, as well as access to her membership and exclusive content, will be extended up until August 31st, a month after her graduation date. Woozy's channel and content will still remain after her graduation, and for the meantime, My Hollow TV asks for continued support for the talent. Woozy also continues on to say, though she didn't have to, that she'd appreciate it if we didn't spread any rumors or do any speculation regarding her graduation, saying she's sure some of it is from a place of love, but she doesn't appreciate some of the things she's seeing. Though fellow talent Carrot Kerumi gives her support, sharing with us her fan art of all three Tridoxa members, stating Tridoxa will always be three. Please support Woozy until the end, and continuing on to say to cherish your Oshi while they're still here. You never know when the adventure ends. Sometimes it's obvious and you mentally prepare for it. Sometimes it hits you like a truck. But no matter what, always remember the joy they brought to you. Moving on, we have Thailand-based VTuber group Polygon Project, who, after having held their Polygon High School academic-themed session, now announces a new season for their talents, introducing PLG High School Holidays, celebrating the end of their study period semester with the start of their summary-themed break, even releasing an original song, Season, to go along with the beginning of this new event period. Polygon also announces special merchandise featuring the five talents who appeared in the season music video, now available for pre-order up until August 6th. One of those featured talents being Zona, who's celebrating her birthday today, with a special live stream where you can use the hashtag HappyBirthdayZona to send any wishes or gifts her way. Though, if you want a chance at getting a gift from Zona, Polygon announces a special auction of an acrylic painting made by Zona herself. The bidding will be taking place shortly after Zona's birthday stream, so be sure to stop by her YouTube channel. And lastly, we take a look at Lucid Multimedia, as they give us an update regarding their auditions, stating that round one has officially concluded Though due to manager Kun unfortunately contracting c teen, rounds two and three will be experiencing a one to two week delay. But the currently pending round two interviews will be completed promptly, and any affected candidates will be reached out to if needed. We also got to wish manager Kun a happy birthday just recently as well, with Lucid giving him a shout out here and even linking his own throne page below. For all those who want to send him over a gift, or for those who want to fund the Leon Kennedy costume that Lucid talent Vivian Voss has put on his throne as well. And that's all from me. Back to you, false. Thank you, Heidi. Next, we have our co-host, Lady, bringing us even more things VTubers say. Thanks, false. Shork VTuber Megalodon was about to celebrate reaching 30k on Twitch, has unfortunately been permanently banned, as Meg was not told specifically what the ban was for, has come to the conclusion herself that it is a result of refunds that were given without consent on PayPal posted at the same time, and instead of being asked to verify the refund has instead been permanently banned. Having already submitted a repeal that immediately got rejected, Meg seeked advice from the Twitch Help Center, only to be told that they should submit an appeal, which unfortunately can only be done once and since has already been rejected. Meg seeks out attention from Twitch support on Twitter, as being a content creator and streaming on Twitch is their full-time job and 95% of their income. Proud mom of Silver Veil, vale, it's Mama Veil. Vale who has currently been notified that their channel is under suspension, which Mama Vale tweets, how can they suspend a national treasure? With Silver Veil vale replying set her free, and others asking what the suspension was for, unfortunately, Mama Vale herself doesn't really know. Cozy, wholesome gamer Silver Veil vale announces their collaboration with Novel Horizons, as their figurine will be open for pre-orders coming August 12th, as Silver would share a sneak peek at these perfectly manicured toes. Gremlin wearing Echo Obi Katie Cat remains a cool cat while reminding 
everyone that their cheddar plushies are still available until July 19th. Imp VTuber Camilla has finally re-debuted with their new design shown here. This debut also included a scuff lore video that was done within 24 hours of debut, along with some new starting screens, emotes, animated alerts, and some carnival game animations. Already receiving fan art, such as this little jester, be sure to keep your eyes open as to celebrate their debut. In collaboration with Corsair and Mythic Talent, Camilla is hosting a giveaway. VTuber and music producer Shay releases their debut single for their band Chimera, now available on Spotify. And speaking of singers, we have Ellie Monty, who recently celebrated their birthday with a singing stream that will also releasing a new cover of Cupid and a jazz version of Idol. And now back to you, False. Thank you, Lady. And also a big thanks to Sulia offering up this vibrant rendition of Lady. All while Lady has been very busy too, creating this artwork of the tyrant Iron Mouse. Lady saying congrats on the subathon, Mousy. Keep on soaring, even giving us this glasses version of the Demon Queen. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below to join in on the Pixel Canvas fun or just send in VTuber news, join our Discord, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. With Silver Veil replying, set her fee. Fee. Restart. <laughs> that helpful. Anyway, restart. <laughs>